free if you want to see an additional 5 minute preview of this next Ultra Vegito episode for free just sign up to my manga newsletter mangaletter.com using the links in the description or pinned comment and simply enter an active email and your name and it will be with you instantly after for free so make sure to check your spam, junk or other folder if you don't see it. This is a treat for every one of you who cannot afford the Patreon, so enjoy. As he would swiftly then begin approaching the trapped alien, he would be none the wiser of whether the bald-headed figure was friend or foe, before the monk would then remove all the rubble and free the child, and turning to the sky with a thumbs up, as the kid would look at him in awe, Krillin would let out, Hey Gohan, it's all clear down here, we've got another survivor too! <laughs> and up in the sky, with his back turned, giving a thumbs up back, Son Gohan would be seen, pleased and proud of Krillin, as he would reply, Nice work! You take care of that and come join me. It looks like we've got some more guests over here too. <laughs> guests? This is our planet now. You're the guest. As once we would see the next panel, Gohan would be seen with his fists raised, surrounded by six different demonic minions of his own, each eyeing up the young Saiyan naively, not knowing what they had just got themselves into. <laughs> As Gohan, enjoying the underestimation, would bear a smirk saying, at least you guys came prepared, I like this formation, you even seem a little stronger than the ones on Earth. Maybe I'll need some Senzu beans for you guys. And with that interesting but perhaps sarcastic comment, the adult Saiyan would begin reaching into the back of his belt, retrieving a brown bag, before lifting it in front, it of course being a bag of Senzu beans, as Gohan would think. I guess I should probably keep these as far away as possible from their grubby hands. Let's see if I can pull off an old trick of mine. <laughs> as suddenly launching his arm up with force, the bag of Senzu would fly sky high into the air. As Gohan meanwhile, as the demon's eyes would naturally look up in confusion, would immediately begin to vanish, still with a cunning smile on his expression. As in a literal instant, teleporting multiple times in the space of a nanosecond, Gohan would slash his hand to chop one demon's head right off before smashing a kick upwards to separate another's entire body, until swiping it again to the right to decapitate another. All while the few left would watch on with their bodies physically unable to move fast enough to react. Wait! And as one could only manage to mutter out a few words of cowardice and begin to sweat, Gohan would already be on top of him, with his powerful arm pulled back before... He too would be left in pieces, instantly murdered, as Gohan, almost appearing in the exact same spot as if never having even moved, would remain with his arms still up and with the same smirking expression. Ultimately, to catch the bag of Senzu just as it would land in his hand, 
as of course, almost poetically, the bodies of the now dead demon Fodder would fall lifelessly to the ground also. Whoa! Glad I didn't miss that! And on perfect timing, Krillin would then arrive. Impressed, but also there to explain. I took the kid to go be with the other survivors. He should be safe where we hid them. But man, these demons are ruthless. But they aren't half as bad as I thought they would be. But Gohan, keen to make Krillin not underestimate the situation, would then begin with his hands on his hips. Yeah, well I told you Krillin, you might have been spending most of your time in the police force recently, but you're still way stronger than you think. It's been a long time since the days of Namek. You could have probably taken out Frieza if we had the current you back then. But just don't forget, there's probably going to be a stronger demon eventually. Mr. Piccolo said it could either be a demon king or a demon emperor. And we'll just have to hope it isn't the latter. Ugh! Demon emperor! But the typically worrisome Krillin, on immediate hearing of a so-called emperor, would have his imagination going wild, as he would revert back to imagining the same predator-like creature he imagined for Freezer's final form, muttering, Well, I really hope they aren't as strong as Piccolo thinks then. I think I'm just about done with dying, to be honest. But as the smoke would subside, Though there would be no doubt that Gohan had indeed sustained damage, he would still be in one piece. On one knee and one hand now, he would grumble silently as he would attempt to get back onto his feet. Gohan! But seeing his partner in pain, Krillin would immediately yell out in concern, almost instinctively. But Gohan far more calm in comparison, would shut down any worries, as still with his eyes closed, he would let out softly, uh, Relax Krillin, I'm fine. You should know by now, I'm just getting started. As suddenly opening his eyes with a smile, Gohan would reveal the mysterious red of his beast form eyes, now in early stages of activation. It would seem the young Saiyan had found a worthy challenger once more, and the real battle was about to begin. <laughs> As in an alternate timeline, his own father would mirror him back in the demon realm, complete with his own new set of eyes, freshly activated after absorbing the Demon Emperor of Sector 4, Mello. And, and if you would want more, the next video is already three. up live on my well Patreon right now for over 4,500 plus incredible he would comment. You are getting early access huh. episodes Guess for this live, is a change as well as actively seeing gimmicks. hidden but this looks less somewhere content. demons and if you would want reside, that too, and head to my like Patreon to see the full next video and see just what insane turn of events <laughs> happens but as next. He would turn his head, head another only very to long right, episode. Up atop a so mountain, join now and talk to me. Links are in the description and, and pinned comment. Leaving the 